What do you need? Is this a bad time? Every time's a bad time. There's too much work and not enough people to do it. But I'm the only person who cares about that. Wait, did Xenia send you? She said you'd have work for me. Well, thank Poseidon. Finally, someone competent to help. Ships are pushing into our territory and testing us. Xenia wants to send a message to make sure people understand who owns this little part of the Aegean. I'll sink the ships for you. What am I targeting? Destroy a few ships from Sparta, a few from Athens, and a few bandit ones too. That's a lot of ship sinking. Just make sure you're flying Xenia's colors when you do the sinking. I'll pay you well to ensure the message is understood. Sails need repair, three broken oars on the top level, two on the second level, cracked spar. Ah, oh, never a day's rest by Zeus. I've sunk the ships. I knew I liked you. Xenia will be pleased that her waters are back under her control. Flattery is fine, but I'm here for the bounty. Of course. <laughs> Talking in Sir... Cassandra! I knew you'd be back for more. I can't say it hasn't been on my mind, but alas, we must save it for another time. Whatever you say. I hate to cut our conversation short, Socrates, but I believe you've talked enough for the both of us. We must find another use for that mouth of yours. Speak to him long enough, and you may find the smallest hint of knowledge veiled deep behind his uh, enthusiastic advances. <laughs> A compliment and an insult in the same sentence. He truly is gifted. You've arrived at the perfect time. I have a friend named Sophanes who wants to become an Athenian citizen, but he needs a bit of help. Your help. I can't wait to hear why it's my help he needs. Any Mystios would do, really, but you're my favorite. All you need to do is sign my friend's name on a little list. This sounds simple. Now, tell me why it isn't. There's the small matter that you'll have to enter the Metroon, where you're not allowed, and forge his name well enough, of course. So he's trying to become a citizen illegally. <laughs> you should have led with that. I'll try to remember that the next time. The building you're looking for is near the Agora. Be safe. I don't speak in circles, or any other shape. You answered one of my questions, and that brought another to mind. And another... His name's been signed. Time to get back to Alcibiades. My favorite Mystios returns. Sophanis' name is on the list, but it came at a price. I see. Well, sometimes blood must be shed. You were the right Mystios for the job. Now that you forged my friend's name on the citizen's list, there's one more thing that needs to be done. If you told me this needed to be done before, I could have taken care of it already. 
Maybe, but this way I get to see you more often. Just tell me what you need. Unfortunately, getting Sofani's name on the list doesn't make him a citizen. He also needs a witness who can validate his citizenship. So you want me to be the witness? If only it were that easy. No, there's someone I have in mind. An extremely handsome man by the name of Peros. I'll find your handsome witness. Perfect! I knew you'd be willing to help. Time to find Peros. He's often around the Justice Building on the east side of the Agora. And I just ask him to help? Peros needs to say that the parents of Sofanis were both Athenian. How you get him to do it is up to you. That's the guy Alkibiadis called handsome. You tell Theon I'm not giving him anymore. If he wants to talk to me, he can come himself. I'm not here about that. Well, uh, what do you want then? There's something I need your help with. Well, you'd actually be helping someone else. That someone sent you tells me it's something I'd be better off avoiding. You just need to validate a man's citizenship. Alkibiadis said it's an easy role for you to play. Ah, Alkibiadis. He is persistent. And who is this man I meant to help? His name is Sofanes. Sofanes? I know that name well. I won't help you though, not for him. I don't know him. Why don't you want to help? A true Mystios never get all the information up front. Sofanis betrayed his men for Drachmi. He deserves death, not citizenship. Ah, uh, look, it isn't your fault. You didn't know, but now you do. Sounds like Theon may be sending someone to collect from you. Wouldn't it be nice to have the Drachmi you need? Ah, uh, fine. I'll do what you want. You've returned! Socrates too, it seems. Much like you, he just can't seem to stay away. I hope there were no issues. Yes, he just needed a little push. Ah, I was worried about that. Well, you did the right thing. You kept information from me. Information that would have been nice to know. I believe people like Sofanis deserve second chances. I didn't think what he did mattered to you. Next time, let me decide what matters to me. Understood. I should give Sofanis the news. Do not bad citizens do harm to their neighbors and good citizens good? Is it possible to tell if someone will be good or bad without first giving them a chance? Person isn't the same forever. Someone bad can become good. But is the inverse not also true? Someone considered good can then become bad? How can we predict someone's actions now, let alone in the future? We can't. One thing I've learned is people are unpredictable. It's what makes my job so hard sometimes. If what you say is true, we can either hope we are right and that people will be good, or limit the risk by not giving people like Sofanis a chance. I wonder then if bad actions can reverse good or good actions can reverse bad. Perhaps we can speak on that another time. Thank the gods. By the gods! By the gods! Itor, is that you? You look... <laughs> you look old, my friend. When was the last time I saw you? Kefalonia. That job for Marcos. Remember? We ended up back to back, surrounded by angry pirates. Though, as I recall, I had your back. Polish your memories like you would your armor, and they'll make much better tales. I'd heard rumors you'd settled down in Attica. Always thought you'd die with a blade in your hand. Not open up a shop. 
the blade I always thought I'd take with me is missing. I could use your help, if you're willing to assist an old friend. You mean Arby? You loved that blade. Some Malacca's commander came in here demanding I fix his fucking twig. When I couldn't, he said I was obligated to provide a new one. And the one he wanted was hanging on my wall. I'll get Arpi back for you. Don't do anything stupid. I just want her back. Hey, you know me. That's why I'm afraid. I should be going. Remember, we don't want trouble. Just sneak in and take it. You're still good at that, right? I won't lower myself to answer that. This is RP, all right. No mistaking this blade. Glad you're back safely. Did you get my RP? Yes, I found RP. Good, good. And what of that Malacca's commander? He didn't survive our encounter. <laughs> You are a true friend. I have a feeling there's more to the story of Arby's disappearance than you're letting on. What? Come now. You've always had such a suspicious mind. Still seeing conspiracies everywhere, are we? You've done me a great favor here. Let's not sour the celebration. Itor, you had my back and taught me so much on Kefalonia. Don't worry about the drachmi you promised. Consider the favor repaid. You've grown into a fine woman, Cassandra. A better mercenary, with both a strong arm and a kind heart, would be hard to find. Sometimes too kind. Just don't tell anyone. Can't have people thinking I'm weak. No, of course. A mysterious reputation is everything. Even if I don't swing her anymore, I'm glad to have Arpi back. Take care of yourself, Vitor, and try not to lose anything else. Vitor. Ah, my friend! I'm so glad you're here. I know that look. If you need a favor, just tell me. Well, yes. A small one. A mercenary and old friend of mine has gotten himself captured. So you'd like me to free him? Sadly, I'm no longer able to do these things myself. Otherwise, I wouldn't ask. Okay, I'll do it. Thank you, my friend. Once you rescue him, take him to the beach. I've left a boat there for him to escape. Time to go get your friend. <gasps> There you are. I was starting to think you wouldn't show up. You! Hello, Emilko. Long time. Itor, what's going on? Why are you here? Of course. He didn't tell you, did he? You've been used, my friend. Shut up! I'm not here to hear you talk. I'm here to see you die. You deceived me! You asked me to rescue him just so you could kill him! I didn't lie. Just omitted some details, that's all. I got him out as you asked, so why kill him now? I could have dealt with him if that's what you wanted. Because I had to see him. Why? Because he killed the love of my life. We both shared guilt in that. But she was my wife! Your wife? She wouldn't have died if... What? If I hadn't caught you? If you hadn't attacked me? If she hadn't tried to stop us? If our blades hadn't struck her down? Who's to blame here? Despite what either of you did, this won't bring her back. It will make me feel better. And that's all that's important to you in the end, isn't it? Easing your conscience. You think killing him would make you feel better? 
I guarantee it won't. And it sounds like she wouldn't have wanted either of you to get hurt. <sighs> You're right. I'm sorry. Fuck your sorry! You destroyed my life that night! But I agree with your friend. Let's just pray we never see each other again. Why, you? Let him go. You made the right choice here. Sometimes we cannot make up for the mistakes of our past. I'm just glad all those years with me didn't rub off on you. Sometimes we need to move on from the past, like I did from Kefalonia. You have a chance to make a new life. Use it. Down. Tell me what happened. Raiders in the forest. My husband, he tried to fight them off. If your husband is facing the bandits alone, he won't have long to live. Please! I have a child. You have to help us. I will find your husband and the bandits. You saved that child, I knew. Can't help but do the right thing, can you? Chrysis? You killed this man just to set a trap? It's an honor to give your life to Ira's greatest priestess. He died willingly. With him gone, I have room for one more on my council. It isn't too late to join us. You've lost your mind, Chrysis. This is madness. A world where a killer like you is held up as a hero. That is madness. This is the world you helped to make. I will unmake it. Very well. If you wish to be an agent of chaos, if you wish to be a killer, then kill, child. Die for me, my child. <laughs> Not your child. I will find my mother, and we will be together again. I will make this right. This is for my mother, and every family you destroyed. You heard me. Sounds serious. How can I help? I'm thirsty. Usually my husband fills me up, but I haven't seen him in a while. So, if you could just reach over there and grab me the wine. I'm a Mystios. I don't fetch wine. Wait, your husband's missing? Oh. Well, yes, I suppose he is. I hear husbands can be hard to keep track of. They're always getting lost. I've been through three already. I don't want to lose this one, too. Your husband must have enemies or something. 
Someone who might want to make him go missing. The dagger. <laughs> if you're wealthy, they're your enemy. A local captain and his Malaki's dagger friends visit as often as they please, demanding made-up taxes and beating my husband if he doesn't pay. Will you find him? Will you find my husband? Don't worry. I'll find him. Thank you. Is... is there anything else I can tell you? I've heard enough. I'll head east and find your husband. Thank you, Miss Theos. What happened here? Guards. Malakis got up guards. They wanted taxes. They always want taxes. <coughs> Took my master up to the Vistos fort. He should have paid their stupid taxes. He... He should have paid. <coughs> I'd better head to the fort. the road. You saved me. Surprised? It's just, you look more like a hired killer than a hero. Your wife hired me to check on you. She was worried. About me? Well, she'd had some wine. <laughs> so you have met her. Is there anything I can help you with? Your wife seems, um... Nice. She does have her tastes. Uh, expensive ones. <laughs> the dagger keep taking and taking. I don't know what she'll do if I ever run out. I know she loves me, I just... I'd rather not find out how much she loves me. Still, you've earned the reward. I keep an emergency stash of Drachmi in a cave behind a waterfall not far from here. It's directly north of where my car crashed. Take what you think you've earned. Just leave enough for me and my wife. Better collect my drachmi from the husband's stash in the Cataractes cave. I'm here to check the warehouse's taxation records, but, but I'm being refused entry. This matter is out of my hands. Fine. The wheels of Evia will be greased once more. 
How much will it cost to get me the records? That's not going to work this time, Agapios. The guards are under strict orders to not let anyone in or out of the warehouse. It's an order they will enforce, my friend. Take my advice. Stay away from that warehouse. It's lucky your friend warned you. Haha! <laughs> He's just as corrupt as the rest of Evia. I fear there's nobody on us left. Not all mercenaries are cutthroats. I can be trusted. That remains to be seen. What's causing the corruption? A group called the Takera strangling Evia with their greed. They work from the shadows, controlling the nation with bribery and blackmail. They are the reason I need the taxation records from that warehouse. I'm following a parchment trail which I believe will lead me to the person behind it all. But I'm too old to be breaking into guarded warehouses. Perhaps the shine on my drachmi can convince you to do it for me, huh? I'll get the records for you. Perhaps there is someone left in Evia who can be trusted. I'll find the records. The guards don't stand a chance. They don't deserve a chance. For Evia to survive, corruption and those who spread it must be crushed. I'll wait for you here. The warehouse. The warehouse grounds. There's the warehouse dock. Keep your distance, Mistyoch. They'll be on high alert here. This is a restricted area. Now to find those records. Amistios! Destroy the records before they claim them! Maybe this will help Agapius identify the dagger's leader. of the trade Zevi has made in the last six months. Maybe the identity of the dagger's leader is in here. I found the record, Agapios. My master would be pleased. You're a slave. Do I not look as you expect? Yes, Miss Theos, I am a slave. But I'm not without dignity. The local magistrate is my master. And I'm his most trusted servant. We do what we have to, to survive. Exactly. I don't blame my father for selling me to slavery. It's what he had to do. It got me out of my old life and gave me a chance at a better one. Nobody chooses to be a slave, but being one provides me food, shelter, safety, and security. Especially now, with Evia all but run by the dagger. They cannot see past. 
because they are greed. And if they go unchecked, we may all end up as slaves. If uncovering the identity of the darkest leader and finally stopping them sounds like something you'd be interested in, meet me and my master in the slave market. I'll think about it. Possible. Agapi, what's wrong? What have you found? Master, it's a name written in the records over and over again. The name of the man leading the dagger. The Kingfisher. Once you know the Kingfisher's real name, bring him to a court of law. He and the dagger have wounded Evia. Evia should have a chance to decide his fate. Agapios, tell her. When we were young, when we'd play, I was the robin, and the kingfisher was my brother. But he died. He... he... should be dead. I mourned him. I made him a grave. Please, tell me he's not one of them. I beg you, tell me my brother's not a dagger! You know your brother better than these records. If you believe this Kingfisher isn't him, then you're right. Thank you. Yes. The boy I knew, there is no way he could be involved in this. Your brother can't have been born the Kingfisher. Of course he wasn't. Neritos. His name was Neritos. Older than me. <laughs> More trouble than me, too. Fighting, stealing. <sighs> but he always looked out for me. Nothing is more important to Envia's survival than stopping the dagger. I am sorry, old friend. The Kingfisher must be dealt with whether he's your brother or not. I... Yes, Master. I understand. Please, Mistyos, help me uncover the Kingfisher's true identity. We can clear my brother's name and stop the dagger. Evia would be in your debt. More in your debt. The Magistrate's treasury runs deep. Your reward would not be small. Whatever it takes, I'm in. Family can be complicated. We'll clear your brother's name and save all Evia while we're at it. I know a farmer who's had dealings with the Dagger's inner circle. If anyone's seen the Kingfisher's true face, it's him. I should pay him a visit. Any other leads? There is a shipwreck along Evia's southern coast, and the theater in Galki City has been spreading the Dagger's lies. I have enough to go on. I'm the Kingfisher. If I discover here's your brother, if he is the man behind the Dagger... He won't be. Return to me when you've learned all you can. No, 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 no! Shit! Keep making... Killing him won't solve anything, Prexileos! But we can't just sit here and let him do this to Asidia. To the children. You think I don't have their well-being in mind? Well, you certainly aren't acting like it. How dare you! Calm down and listen to yourselves. The kids are scared. Who do you think you are? The Mistyos is right. Calm down. It's bad for the... Speak up, stranger! Agapio sent me. He wants to prove his brother's innocence and destroy the dagger. His brother? Neritos? Didn't he die on... Stop, Idia. We're in enough trouble as it is. Tell me what you know. Let's make a deal. Kill a man for me, Mistios. Help me, and I'll tell you about the dagger's base of operations. We've been through this. No killing. Talk to the man instead. Make him honor his word to pay us. Still, I will take care of your problem. There's a man from the Dagger. He approached us one day to help them spread their agenda. We don't care about the Dagger, but we need the extra income. He wanted us and the children to spread the message of the Dagger in the theater and on the streets. Sounds like a fair trade. Till the Drachmi stopped coming in. He stopped paying us. 
and threatened to come after our children if we didn't continue. I was going to kill him myself, but Idia... We can't just take a life like that, Prexileos. That's not us. He lives in the large house in the middle of the city. Kill him, and we'll have Drachmi for you. Listen to yourself. Talk to the man, and posture if you must. But we aren't savages. I don't want to set a horrible example for the children. I'll deal with the man. Just make sure you pay up. If you need anything else, or forget where to find the Daggerman, speak to us again. They just do it all the same! Family! Yes, that's right. For family! Amistios? What do you want? I'm just here to talk. Did the theater couple send you? I already told them to leave me alone. Or else I... Or else what? You'd hurt the children that live there? As unfortunate as that is, I would. For my family, I'd do anything. Guards! We have an intruder! Huh? Stay away from the fighting! was just another man doing right by his family. Too bad he mixed with the wrong people. sure this dagger Malaka doesn't get to- Shut up! We'll find every last one of your precious kids. They'll fetch a good price. <laughs> we can discuss this. You are in no position to discuss anything. After I've made a few cuts, they'll be free to go. Touch them, and you'll touch nothing else. The dagger doesn't appreciate your- Intrusions into our affairs. Then you, Malakas, should get out of my way. I'm a man that likes a little drama, so let's make this interesting. You, Mistyo, seem to have a flair for the dramatic, and we are in a theater after all. So let's have you decide how this play will play out. <laughs> get to the point. Someone's got to die here today. I won't let anyone die today. If you don't make a choice between these two lovebirds, I'll kill them both. I don't think he's playing around, Mistyos. But like I was saying, someone's got to die. But just one. It's always more fun when one lover is alive to watch the other bleed. So meddling, Mistyos. Tell us, who should live? Save Idea, Mistyos. What? Save Prexileos, Mistios! The kids can't do no, without him! No, save Idea! Please, you'll be saving All right, Robert. time's up! Pick an ending to our little play, Mistios! I'll save them both, but you will die, dagger scum! <sighs> Wrong answer! Skiros! Mistios, get to Skiros! Tell Agapios! That's where they control Evia from! Stop them! You little... I won't let your dying words go to waste. Agapios will know about Skiros, and I will avenge the both of you. I still need to meet all of Agapios' contacts. What was that about? I'm sorry, Mistios. They knew we talked. They threatened me. The dagger really don't like you. You told them what you had to in order to survive. There is no shame in that. Thank you. It's great to see you again. Have you come for some olive oil? No. I came to talk to you about the dagger. I've got nothing to say about that. Look, 
I'm here to let you know that I am working with the local magistrate and his worker Agapios to bring them down. But in order to do that, I need to know what you know. You don't want to know what I know. Trust me. Tell me! Neritos! His name is Neritos. No. It can't be true. I'm going to end this, once and for all. I still need to meet all of Agapios' contacts. Did Agapios send you? Yes. Were you followed? No. Are you sure you weren't followed? There was no way I was followed. I made sure of it. You covered every track? Every single one. Malakash liar! You've led them right to me! Who? The dagger. Their corruption. Their reeds. It's limitless. They're watching that Cypric, and I don't doubt they're watching you. How did you get involved in all of this? It was my master's boat that engaged the dagger ship. But he and many of his men perished in the ensuing battle. I will get whatever's down there. Thank you. Is there anything you need to know before leaving? I have enough to go on. Whatever's in the ship's cargo is of great interest to the dagger. If you can get it, then maybe my master didn't die for nothing. Meet me down in Eretria when you're done. Mistios, over here. Debris from the dagger sunken ship. There it is, the shipwreck. This must be what the dagger is after. Now to find the woman in Eretria. These ruins are a good room. Who are those men? It's better not knowing. Those men, are they from there? Do not say it. Tell me why. What's your interest in the ship? Help! Somebody help me! Better make sure the woman's okay. Are you hurt? I... Don't be afraid. You're safe. Thank you for saving my life. Did you find anything? I found this blade, covered in strange markings. <laughs> the important item the dagger was after was... a dagger? This blade! It's used for sacrifices in the name of Achilles. The dagger must be devoted to him. Find the right temple of Achilles. And you'll find the dagger. But which is the right temple? Agapius will know when I show the blade to him. You should find a safe place to lie low until this is over. There's nowhere for me to go. I only have the clothes on my back. Here. This should help you get started. Thank you, Mistios. I'll never forget what you've given me. Freedom. I still need to meet all of Agapius' contacts. That's the last of Agapios' leads. Better tell him what I've learned. He isn't going to want to hear this. You've returned. What did you learn? The dagger's base is on Skiros. They seem to be planning a ritual at the Temple of Achilles. What did you learn about my brother? Is he alive? Is he the Kingfisher? 
I'm sorry, Agapios. Neritos is the kingfisher. The dagger is his operation. <laughs> Neritos always was getting himself into trouble. A temple to Achilles on Skiros, you said? Agapios! Stop! Slave! Stop, slave! Guards! Guards! No! That man earned his freedom long ago. Thanks to you, the dagger's true face has been revealed, and Emdia has a chance at survival. You've earned your reward. Though I fear victory will not be as simple as storming Skiros, the King Fishers hid in the shadows for decades. There will be more to do before the end. Help me. Help Envia. I'll see what I can do. Good. Good. I'll lead the small force to Smuggler's Dock on Skiros. Meet me there, and together we'll finally cross the dagger! Mistios, you came. We need you now more than ever. Please help us finish the dagger. I'm in. If the information you uncovered is accurate, it won't just be the Kingfisher at the temple. It's a gathering of the dagger's leadership. You can wipe them all out and free Evia from their control. Agapios will not allow his brother to be harmed. I love Agapios, but Evia must come first. When this is all over, I'll make sure your reward finds its way to your boat. Evia thanks you for your service. Mistios! The dagger know we're here! We need to move fast! So this is what's become of my brother. You've clawed your way back from Hades, back to life, only to take the lives of others. Not from Hades, little Robin. From the ocean floor. Poseidon remained silent as I drowned. I saved me. Me! There are no gods. Only mortals. Know that, and you'll know everything you need to rule this world. Not everyone wants to rule the world. Some of us just want to live in it. Ah! Amistios! Kingfisher. No! His name's Neritos! He's not just some code name you can cross off. He's my brother. He's family. Family is all that matters. Yes, yes. No one has to die here. Listen, brother, please. You've been a slave, brother, but the world is my slave. It's wonders, it's wine, it's people. We could be masters together. We were always meant to fly, little Robin. Agapios! You can't trust the Kingfisher! Think of what he's done to our people! Think of the lives he's ruined! He's my brother! I can save him! I know I... I can save him! Please, Master Mistios, there's no need for violence! You know him better than anyone. When we first met, you said I could trust you. Thank you for trusting me. Neritos, brother, remember when we were young, when we'd run through the streets of Kalkis? Father chasing us? He couldn't catch little birds, so little birds we became. The robin and the kingfisher. We can be again. Skiros and Evia and the dagger. We can leave them all behind. And never return? We can fly. Then fly, little Robin. Fly! No! Agapios! Goodbye, brother. The dagger is mine. The Greek world is mine. No one will take that from me. Not my brother, and not you. <coughs> Mistios. <laughs> Hey! 
Agapi was my oldest friend. I never should have let you go. Why did I let you go? You gave Agapius a great gift. He got to be free. For a moment. A moment? I suppose that's all any of us ever gets. With the Kingfisher dead and his lieutenants crushed, the dagger's done. Evia's free thanks to you. I hope it was worth the price. It's freedom. It's always worth the price. Here, hero of Evia. Robin and the Kingfisher. But you can't trust your own family. Who can you trust? Beast Slayer! I'm glad to see you, Hafni. I didn't think you would be. The path I set you on is fraught with danger. You could have been killed, or given up. No danger could have kept me from seeing you again. Maybe you're getting ahead of yourself. Maybe... The Nemean Lion's Pelt. Magnificent. As is its hunter. Strength is... powerless in the face of beauty. Even Heracles fell to its sway. You slay me as easily with your words as your weapons do these beasts. You haven't seen anything yet. Nice view. It just got a lot nicer. I was hoping to see you again. Alcibiades, what are you doing outside of Athens? Someone like me is always on the move. I've docked my ship in every port. I'm sure you have. If you're here for more than the view, I have a task for you. It is crucial this package gets to its proper recipient. It's not for me, but a man named Theodoros. I'll help. But it's only that little box? One should never judge something by its size, you know. A small thing may very well make a huge impact. All right. Who am I giving the package to? There's a man named Vardas near the Corinthian military fort. He's one of their stronger... assets. And I just tell him it's from you. <sighs> no, uh, from the Odoros. Don't forget, the Odoros. You are the Mystios I sent for. What do you want? This is for you. Give it here. Is this some kind of joke? This is a cast of someone's dick. What's this engraving? This is for your wife, Thalia, for when she starts to miss me. Tell me now, who said this? Do you know a man named Theodorus? Theodorus? He'll pay for this with his life. I'll destroy his men. I'll destroy his ship. He'll regret ever touching Thalia. I was just starting to miss you. I hope you delivered the, uh, package? Vardas threatened to kill the others when I told him. I also wasn't expecting the package to be... well... that. It was a nice surprise, wasn't it? I can make another one for you too, if you'd like. Another one? 
You... It was mine, yes. It looked good, didn't it? I needed to get the Odoros out of the way, and now he will be. I impress myself sometimes. Whatever you say. Why don't we let our bodies do the talking? Surely you had thoughts of it as well when you saw the cast of me? Here? Before the gods? Let's make an offering. I'd like to see the gods stop us. I have a feeling they prefer to watch. I'd say we gave the gods a good show. Ha! Huh. I couldn't agree more. I'd love an encore soon. Goddess of war and wisdom. Do you have my seals yet? Of course I do. It was easy. How could I have doubted your greatness? Nonetheless, I appreciate the work you've done. Would you be interested in another job? I'm interested. I'm impressed with your work. Did you expect any less? I had hoped, but hiring you was a gamble. Most things in life are. I am perhaps a bit more willing to gamble than my fellow generals would like. If you take no risks, you win no wars. Exactly! How is it a mercenary understands this when the greatest generals of Athens don't? I'm not sure whether I should feel flattered or insulted. The Spartans are trying to find our supply lines. We've caught several spies already. We cannot afford such a loss. Not if you want to keep your troops alive, no. I need you to kill more of their commanders. Leave their hoplites without leadership. They'll be scrambling. Are you sure? Spartans are fierce warriors. Warriors, yes. Thinkers, no. They react like wild animals. Put them in a situation that requires genuine thought, and they fall apart. Kill the commanders and bring me their seals. We'll see how the other generals react to that. I'll get you your seals. The sooner the better. I know what I have to do. I call that impression the lapdog. I wonder how many scraps Hermipos has received. Hermipos has gone too far, Socrates. Pericles gave everything to Athens. Yet, we must still hear of Cleon's greatness. Aristophanes, have you not done seemly things to Hermipos? How dare you compare me to that man? His plays are a nuisance. Something I could come up with in an afternoon, and a drunken one at that. Mine are for a clever audience. The same audience you judge. Should it not be clever enough? Careful, Socrates, else I make you a character in one of my plays. Do you agree with Socrates that Hermipos should say what he wants? They're only words. Hermipos should be able to say what he wants. No matter what he says. What if he devoted his life to slandering you? Not just in Athens, but throughout the land. Saying what he wants doesn't mean he would escape my spear. Then everything we say has a consequence, even if we are allowed to say it. Uh, an intriguing thought, wouldn't you agree? If you have such an issue with Hermipos, why not do something about it yourself? I'd like to, but I haven't been able to find him. Maybe you'd have better luck. It can't be that hard to find Hermipos. That's what I thought as well. Maybe he's afraid I'll find him. Wherever Hermipos is, I'll find him. I hope you do. His residence would be a good place to start. <sighs> a mask from the cult of Cosmos. Hermipos must be a member.
This is a lot of money for someone like Hermipos. Explains his residence, at least. Like Cleon made notes for Hermipos on his play. Everyone's a writer. <gasps> what is it? I couldn't find Hermipos, but I did find out something about him. He's a member of the cult of Cosmos. Then it's no wonder he attached himself so closely to Cleon. Discrediting Pericles and his beliefs in Athens would benefit Hermipos and the cult, I'd imagine. Hermipos is definitely a problem. Do you still believe he should say what he wants, Socrates? I know not what I think, nor what I know. Ah, yes, you deserve a play of your own. What is a leader if he hides behind the walls he built himself? Send me fire, storm, or sickness, but bring me justice for my city. <laughs> 